Now joining us on the phone line to discuss this further is presidential spokesperson Dr. Bongani Nkalunga. Uh, good afternoon to you, Doctor, and thank you so much for joining us here on Express Lunch and ANN7 this afternoon. First and foremost, what is the thrust of the presidency's response to the Black Business Council? Well, uh, good afternoon to you and to the um, viewers at home. Uh, the president did indeed meet with the, with the Black Business Council on Friday. And the main issue really that was discussed were the, were the steps that need to be taken to advance black economic empowerment. And uh, there was a time spent on reviewing the progress that has been made. And so President Zuma welcomed the contributions by the Black Business Council, especially the proposals that they made with regard to the National Empowerment Fund. There was some proposal about the participation of black asset managers in the SME Fund. So there were various issues that we discussed, and President Zuma committed to follow up on those issues. And that at some point he will report back on the steps that the government would have taken to address the concerns that they raised. But uh, what would you say are some of the reservations of the Black Business Council over FIGA, and what is the president's, uh, presidency's response uh, to that? But I mean, one of the issues that they raised was their objections to the Financial Intelligence Center Amendment Bill, and they are not the first organization that has raised these objections. I mean, we reported last week, we issued a statement where we also revealed that the professional, the Progressive Professionals uh, Forum has also written to the president objecting to, to the bill. And so President Zuma is considering their objections and will make your decisions once he has uh, uh, looked at the matters that they have raised. Thank you very much, uh, Doctor and Spokesperson, for your time. Appreciate you talking to us here on ANN7. That was Dr. Bongani Nkalunga, uh, the presidential spokesperson, just uh, chatting to us about President Jacob Zuma following up on the issues raised uh, by the Black Business Council. We are going to keep you up to date. But yesterday, the Black Business Council President Ndaba Ntsele backed President Jacob Zuma. Let's take listen, uh, a listen in, rather, to what was said. have to show the rest of the continent about elections and uh, to be democratically elected and finishing a term. Uh, if we start uh, not having discipline of rules as a, as a country, we see a problem just there. So the, the, the main issue is changing the rules uh, and then uh, uh, letting the president go without the process. He came by the pilot, let him get out uh, uh, by the pilot. We are going to present a formal objection uh, regarding uh, the FICA issue. And they, it must uh, go back, and, and, and there are clauses there, uh, many of them, that are going to uh, affect uh, a, a lot of people.